Alrighty guys, this is our game again today. We are going to be casting a subscriber submitted character on survival match and this time I was told that we might be having a pro champion match. So let's look here at uh, what we have and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these kinds of videos because I am sure going to make a lot more if you guys are going to show me that you obviously enjoy them a lot. Now I'm looking here at the champion and it is none other than freestylo. Now, on top of being an obvious pro of the game, so he really knows how to play it, he's actually my top Twitch viewer and also my only Twitch mod. So, he's definitely one of the coolest people in the world and he is going to go with the champion and I'm pretty sure he's the one who also shared this replay with me. So, I'm going to be expecting a lot of skill from his strategies. I'm not really sure what he's going to go for. Now, here, if I'm looking at him, he's not really going to go for uh, quick income at all. So we'll see what he does now. Also on the other side we have no thank you with the Glavik. And then let's look at the other survivors. We have Rampek with the Swan. We have Prax with the Dark Spirit. We have Deacon Danny with the Warfield. We have this is Prax again. We have Sentin Sentinel with the RS. And I think I got pretty much everybody. I've I saw Team Nova around here, yeah. And we also have Spicy Miso with Team Nova and Kerrigan is gonna be Palapo apparently. I have never seen this guy, but I'm gonna hope he's a good carry gun. Now let's see what our favorite dude here is gonna do. Now he did get like three gas and he obviously got a strider. Now this thing is basically the pinnacle of uh, human evolution. It can basically blink wherever, whenever, so you don't even need to like see the terrain to blink up. So you can pretty much be 100% safe and you can also farm for a very long while with the strider and you're gonna have no problems look at that he's already having like six gas but i'm worried about his income where does freestylo hold his income i mean I, I don't know now if i'm looking at this i can even like go to his uh, cam which one is his cam actually uh let me see let me check okay he's actually number one if we look here at his camera no i cannot see his income at all that's kind of a problem he's got no income anywhere he should get it shorty, so I'm gonna be expecting that, cause he's got a whopping 13 gas. Usually, if you are playing with a champion, you wanna go for a couple of like small 100 mineral shards, and then after that, you wanna transition it to 350 mineral crystals, which you obviously wanna chrono boost. So I mean, I'm not seeing this from freestyle. Come on, bro. He's been farming so well. He just needs to get that sweet, sweet income, and then he's gonna be just fine. Now look at this. He's obviously gonna have to TP up. And now he will be safe. He'll even see Kerrigan here. Look, gonna try and go after him. Nope. Kerrigan, that is not going to work. And Kerrigan is just gonna, I believe, go after Spicy Miso's income. Like you can see here. Miso with the Tosh. I think he's oblivious to what's going on. Come on, no, Miso. You're gonna get attacked by Kerrigan. Okay, yeah, there we go. He will run away. He will even recall, so he won't get destroyed. And he will immediately salvage these miss mission commands as he actually should. And now he's safe, but he's got no more income, so I'm again worried for Spicy here. You can see also Sentinel here with the RS getting a nice bit of income, but again, he's got so many minerals that are unused, which makes me really worried. I mean, look at this, 500 minerals. These, I mean, all of these things combined don't cost that much. You can literally double everything, Mr. Sentinel, with your minerals, but he's not. Danny is actually doing fine as well. Yeah, he's actually spending his resources. It's never good to see that you have a lot of unspent resources. Like, never ever. Always try to spend your stuff. Now, Spicy, he's actually doing pretty badly here, because you can see he's got so many unspent resources. 9 gas on top of 400 minerals. So come on, bro. You have to spend your stuff. Now, in the meantime, Kerrigan is actually going to patrol random spots. Not really doing much. Come on, Palabo. What are you doing? He's just sitting around here. I'm hoping that he's gonna wake up very soon. Because this is a lot of outposts. Yeah, Prox has gone for like a ton of turrets already. And he's also getting tons of income as well. So, wait, what? He's actually got to almost a thousand minerals at minute six as a dark spirit, which is actually amazing. So, Kerrigan, you kind of have to take care of all of these. Kerrigan doesn't seem to be all too interested in survivors at all. Come on, okay, there there you go. I think she finally realized what she needs to do. Polapo, good job. I mean, he's gonna go for some walls, I guess that's a start. She's gonna literally go and attack some junk piles for some reason, because, uh, yeah, I understand that Swan can be pretty annoying at times, but come on. You don't have to do that, you have to focus the other builders. 
or the actual builders, because these are the most dangerous. I'm happy to see that Danny here is going for tons of income. He's got one, two, he's got two, three almost filled up outposts. So that is amazing. He's doing extremely well. Look at Prox though, going for even more outposts. I mean, Prox has just littered the map with the turrets, if you're looking at this. Like half the map is just full of yellow turrets. Prox has just got the map to its knees. I mean, it's got 114 gas. Yeah, Prox is just a beast here. He's been doing really well, and Kerrigan doesn't seem to be doing much. Come on, Palapa, what are you doing? You need to destroy more than just a couple of, like, junk piles. You have to. Now, where is Freestyler right now? Freestyler, where you at, buddy? I have to find him. Okay, I have to do this. Okay, there he is, actually. He went for income, after all. And now he is almost level four and at level 4, you will be able to unshot Zergling, so that is pretty huge. And he's got two Chrono Boosted Shards, which is also amazing. He's gonna get another one in Chrono Boosted, because he's been farming really well, and he's got a whopping 38 gas. So good job there, Mr. Freestyle, you're doing great, just keep going. He will need to eventually try and push, because he himself cannot farm all too much gas. There's a limit, and eventually, when he's gonna get way too many minerals to spend, he will obviously have to get more units other than himself, so that is pretty interesting. Now, Kerrigan, what are you doing? I mean, she's finally going to try and go for yeah, some actual, I guess, buildings here. Come on, Kerrigan. Does she plan on going after the warfield? Probably so, yeah. Look at that, finally. Wait, what? Okay, she's going to go after Swan. Come on, Palapa, what are you doing? I know No Thank You is pretty good at the game, but this guy doesn't seem to know anything. He's, come on! Stop staring at the freaking barracks! Okay, Kerrigan is... No, no, she tried to use the storm on top of the barracks. Like, why? Why, Kerrigan? You're torturing me by making me look at you do all of this. I mean, how did even Polopo get here? I guess he should try and... Uh... Did he just scan himself? I think he did. Okay, Kerrigan, you are making no sense to me. Okay, finally he's gonna go after some outposts. He's gonna realize that he needs to kill stuff. No, 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 no. After the outpost, Kerrigan, no. He's gonna go the opposite way, actually. This is not going well for the Zerg, is it? Kerrigan just doesn't know what to do. Like, at all. Come on, Kerrigan. You have to wake up. You have to... I mean, she keeps spamming Zerglings. She has the spawn. The spam on auto-spawn, which I guess is... Fine. Yeah, she's gonna go after some Hellions, like, finally. She will realize she has to go for income. Okay, good job, Kerrigan. I am proud of you, like, finally. You realize what you gotta do. And now Freestylo, he's actually having up to, like, 6 charge already, so he's doing really well. I'm really hoping these guys are gonna get to push soon, because Kerrigan... Yeah, she doesn't seem to care about any of this. By the way, Prox has insane income, like, always. He's got about... Three no over three thousand minerals all on all of these markets combined and three hundred and ten gas. So Prox is just rolling the map pretty much together with of course Spice Miso and Freestylo. Danny is doing fine, but Danny actually has a ton of unspent resources. So I don't like this warfield. Danny, you have to do better than this. He's not spending his stuff, which is extremely bad. Because here the income actually scales exponentially almost every time. So that's why you have to be very careful. Not to let your minerals and spend because if you do, then you're literally kicking your own economy back like a full 10 minutes behind, like Warfield is doing here. Generally, with a great Warfield, you can actually base at minute 16 ish, but this guy might have to base at minute 30 because he's not spending anything here. So, I don't really like that. In the meantime, Freestyle is gonna get more and more crystals, which is amazing. He's even defending this with a couple of Centurions to make sure nothing bad happens. Now, Brox here is actually having all of these markets on top of the Zerg Rip, which I don't really like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Levy could always come here and just one-shot all of these structures, but, I mean, that is also a good way to hide, because Glevik is never going to expect these structures to be on top of his script, so he's never gonna look here. Now, Kerrigan is finally gonna start and go for a couple of these outposts, she realizes she actually has to attack, and there she goes. She's actually gonna have to clean up a couple more, you know, because uh, that's how it all works. Now look at Prox, though. He's like relentlessly building even more outposts. He actually wants to take over the whole freaking map here. 
This is interesting. Yeah, look at this. Spicy missiles even going to get scanned. Kerrigan is actually even going to go after um, Sentinel, the address here. Yeah, look at this. It's going to go after all of these vultures. They're going to go down. And now Kerrigan has actually... Yeah, she has awakened. And she's actually destroying a lot of stuff. Does she have... Yeah, he also have has a couple of those income structures. He's got the hatchery. What else does he have? A hatchery, is that it? Just a hatchery? No, he's got more than one hatchery. So Kurgan is not that bad after all. I don't know what happened in the beginning. But now I know he's back on the prowl and he's actually destroying freaking structures here. Yeah, look at that. He's gonna clean up the whole Aris income. And she's back on the run. She's doing everything right now. Look at Freestyle though. He's already going for plus 25 artifacts. So he is actually extremely strong. Now where is he? Okay, there he is. He's gonna build a couple of these halls of heroes. And I believe he's uh, actually ready to push. Does he have 2-2? Two -two? Cause you kinda need 2-2 two -two if you are the champion here. He's got plus 1, plus 2. Plus 2 attack, which is fine. He actually needs to start an attack. Look at that. Danny's barracks is still alive after all of that time. By the way, Kerrigan has a ton of unspent resources as well. Which is not something you're gonna do now. Look at that, Kerrigan's gonna send all of her units towards this unknown post. So this is going to work, but I mean, you have to like rally them a bit further forward. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And she's actually gonna start destroying income and uh, actual freaking outposts. Yeah, look at that, Kerrigan. She's gonna take even the Warfield Planet there. I mean, she's gonna try and use the Razor Swarm on top of that structures, but that doesn't work on structures, Kerrigan. I guess he hasn't learned that just yet. He's got to use it a couple more times to find that out. Oh my god, Kerrigan. <laughs> you're so... <laughs> you're so embarrassing. She used it on like four structures and it never worked. And she keeps using it like over and over again. Come on, please don't use it on... Uh, okay, actually these are units. We can use it on this. No, please not. Just gonna clean up the outpost and then just gonna get away. She's gonna get out. Look for more. By the way, Spicy Miso is actually extremely poor right now. He barely has any income. He actually has to go on crypto farm. I mean, if I'm looking at this, he's got a ton of gas. Yeah, 143. I don't even know why you should push on creep like this. You just can, I don't know, retire or something. You don't need to attack because you have all of the gas you'll ever need. Kerrigan is actually on the top right. She just finished with the Warfield's income, now Warfield barely has anything left. The guy got absolutely destroyed. And now, uh, I guess it's pretty much up to Freestylo and Prox to carry the game, but I mean, the guys are actually very capable. Yeah, Prox depositing uh, actual, hun I mean, almost tens of thousands of minerals in these banks. Uh, it's minute 17 and he's obviously gas rich right now. He's got almost 400 gas, this is crazy. Now look at this. And he's actually getting so many more resources from these markets as well. I mean, he's just the boss here. He just needs to base very soon. He needs to base up until I'd say minute 30 -ish, So Kerrigan never gets to Banelings or Sons. Because, I mean, then she will just be able to counter everything they have. Banelings, Sons can pretty much counter most of the survivor armies, no matter what they are. Unless she's fighting like a combo of... Selendis plus a spirit, she will pretty much be able to counter anything and everything. And that's very important here. Look at her, she's actually looking. At least he's like hunting. He knows there's something up here, I mean he's gonna go straight after that, he should. I'm looking at this, I mean Freestyle just salvaged everything for this uh, plus 25 artifacts, which I guess is uh, pretty neat. If you look here at the cost, which one is more cost efficient actually? If I'm looking at this, that's 800. I mean, this one costs less gas, so if you have a lot of, I guess, a lot of minerals and no gas, really, it's, no, if you actually don't have gas, you can go for this, if you actually don't have minerals, you can go for this, so, yeah, this is more gas efficient and this is more mineral efficient. There isn't really a difference between those two, but I guess if you wanna go for stuff that is very efficient, you could choose either one. I'm believing that Freestylo here doesn't really have, I'd say, he doesn't really have gas anymore because he's going for all of these. I mean, he's still actually, I guess, building Centurions in the top right. Yeah, he's doing right, all right. And he's also almost on shutting Zerglings here with the Strider as always. He's got plus two attack as well. He cannot one-shot Zerglings though, not yet. He'll need more upgrades. 
he does actually have a couple of thousand uh, resources. Now look at the Centurions, they could try and go after these Pigalisks, but the thing is, Pigalisks are kind of strong, yeah, look at this. They will try to flank them and they might get a couple of kills, but nope. Look at that, Pigalisks are so insane. They'll just destroy most of these zealots, no problem. That's how strong they really are. I mean, yeah, look at that. They only give 5 gas as well, so Pigalisks, very efficient when it comes to fighting small armies. Like the Zealots, for example. They have over a hundred DPS with over a thousand hit points almost at the max upgrades because the Zerg, for some reason, they don't really have upgrades at all. Oh, look at that, there's the plus three attack. So Freestyle is maxing out, like finally. In the meantime, Kerrigan is actually gonna go after the proc spirit, like over. After I believe a couple of years of just waiting, she's finally gonna realize this guy is actually taking over the map and he needs to be stopped. Yeah, and she's gonna bring the Hydras, which only have one, like, plus one and plus one, which is not good. She needs to go for more upgrades, but I believe because the Spirit Turrets are not upgraded either, these are gonna be fine for now, but eventually they're gonna just die to the turrets if the turrets get way way too strong you can see here proc is actually upgrading the attack attack speed and range of the actual turret so he's ready he's getting very ready for this now look at Prague's though he's just going around mining his own business she's gonna go after all of these turrets pretty much and the shield batteries and also the pylons and she's gonna get out of here now look at the procs of course, running away, look at the turrets also, I mean, he stopped at 9 range, 168 attack speed and then 70 damage. I guess he doesn't want to spend anything else, because he's already got everything he needs. I mean, he went past, I mean, he went right through Kerrigan, this was very interesting. I mean, why why not attack him, Kerrigan? Okay, there you go, there you go. He's actually got 0 hit points upgrade, so this is very dangerous for him. He could easily get destroyed by a clump of Zerglings. But I believe he wants to try and like defend his base for as long as possible, but that will no longer be a thing. Nope, that's not an option. He will have to just get out of here. He has to run. There's no way. No, no, don't go through Kerrigan Prox, I beg you. I think it's the second time when he almost got through Kerrigan. You obviously don't need to do that, because, I mean, it will result in your death eventually. Because look at Kerrigan, with all this damage, she can literally, if I'm looking at this... She can destroy the spirit in under one second. So all it takes is like one fungal growth. And then the spirit is gone. Look at that. The spirit is even going to upgrade his own hit points eventually. Because he realizes that he needs all of this. Without enough hit points as a spirit. You can get eight shot by zerglings. Which is horrible. Imagine that. You just have to like touch eight zerglings and you're down. But if you're maxed out. You can actually survive more like, more like 30 shots. Which is a lot better. Kerrigan is again AFK here. What is Freestyler doing? He should try and push. Okay, yeah, there we go. Freestyler is finally going to go for a couple of these Taldarines with a couple of these Centurions. And I'm believing this is actually going to be one of the strongest pushes in the game so far. Because we haven't seen a lot. Because we obviously don't have a lot of people here. We have the Warfield, Danny, who's still pretty bad here. Getting one battle cruiser, which is not going to be enough. And then we also have Sentinel with the RS, who's also... Like having way too many minerals unspent here now. Finally, here is Freestyle going with all of these uh, immortals. Yeah, all of these Talarines, and he's even gonna like micro against all of these Pigalisks. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, Glev is gonna try and spam a couple of these Pigalisks, but they kind of get countered by the Talarines. But I guess eventually, with enough units, Glevig managed to destroy everything Freestyle had. But Freestyle is actually gonna just rebuild it. He's now got a whopping 68 gas to spend. So this was more like feed to Freestyle. Does he have... Yeah, he's even got 3-3. Three, three, so everything is so much more powerful now. Everything is maxed out. Now he could try and go personally and fight the enemy. But that would not be too efficient. Now look at Prox though. Even though, I mean, he's got 400 gas. He's still not managing to base at all. Because his turrets are pretty weak. Even though... They should be stronger technically, they're really not. I mean, his banks are at least alive and his markets here. Just gonna deposit a lot of minerals. Yeah, look at that. He's still got about 20,000 in total, so he's still a rich boy, but he needs to try and base with more turrets. Now look at this, Freestyle is cooking up the push. Even with a couple of stone avatars, yeah, these are actually gonna do great. These have the, like, dreaded 
psionic gale thingy and this is like a psionic storm except it does a lot more damage so you have to be very careful about that when you're zerg these things can absolutely destroy your army now here god freestyle again with the massive push while kerrigan is trying to handle the dark spirit here the glavik has to put up with everything but glavik is now thank you so he is pretty great the skilled boy he can actually defend this now look at freestyle like a microing next to that one glavik ability and he's finally gonna try and use the storms as well as the taldarins to try and go after glavik in all of his units and these pigalisks are no longer enough to hold all of this so they have to go back now look at glavik no prophet prophet actually loses half of her hp to glavik you have to be, to be very careful glavik is extremely strong here and he's just gonna spam more and more pigalisks glavik what are you doing this is more fit to freestyle than anything else yeah he's gathered over like 112 gas he's just storming more and more i guess eventually most of his constructs will die and most of his immortals will also get destroyed but not with no cost he will get extremely fed here over 108 gas and he's already cooking up another push and now Kerrigan I'm afraid is not that great even team nova is trying to like feed off of the f2 of Kerrigan yeah you can see here Polop has a ton of zerglings but no real way to use them because these are kind of weak you need the banings you need hydras you need some zerglings fall off late game now look at him nova though they're getting way too fat here by the way he finally managed to get a couple of these mission commands so his income is not trash anymore so that's great now look at freestyle though he's just messing on kaldurs as well here and kaldurs are doing are able to do that just a lot more damage than all of these other units he could try and personally go towards the base of the zerg but that's very risky if he dies he loses everything all of his units so he needs to be very careful okay here comes another push the third big push from freestyle or trying to break the zerg in the meantime kerrigan i guess is trying to destroy team nova here and glavik has to deal with this guy and i guess he will be able to eventually but not without losing a portion of his HP. Now look at that. He's spamming so many of these big alists. Come on, Glevig, it's time to move. It's time to like advance with in with new units like Somt, for example. He's just gonna get more big alists. I don't know about this, bro. This is getting a bit annoying for everybody. I mean, these are just feed. Look at that. They're feeding freestyle hundreds of gas, and he's barely losing any units. I guess Glevig might try and like destroy them, but now Glevig is using has lost over 20,000 hit points to all of these units like together yeah look at that this is actually a shame Glevig is I think eventually gonna hold but not before free feeding freestyle a whopping 200 gas it will be able to manage most of this and I'm afraid freestyle did not get the attack speed for the Kaldur which is pretty huge okay so there he, there he is his construct will even like run away Will, will he get it out? No, he will just storm some more units to try and get even more fed here. Look at that, he's even gonna use the Q on Glevik before getting destroyed. And Freestyle has lost another battle, but Glevix has lost another 22,000 hit points. And if Glevix's HP goes down to zero, then the Zerg has officially lost. So they have to be careful here not to die, but I'm afraid Freestyle is gonna push with even more units. Yeah, look at this. He's building for like from three leagues of legends here three like huge i guess barracks they just build the greatest units that he has now i'm afraid kerrigan has not just she's not done just yet yeah look at this he's actually trying to destroy team nova over and over again but he's not succeeding like what a freak kerrigan she's even level 10 yeah this is this is ridiculous. She needs to like change something. She doesn't have she doesn't have the primal roar. Her best ability, she does not have it maxed out. No, Kerrigan. Oh, Polop, oh no. He he's just destroying his teammate. Glevig is holding so well here, yet Kerrigan is just throwing everything in the trash. Now look at the Prophet. Prophet is also very fat here with over a thousand damage and over two thousand damage per second, which is crazy. Now here's Glevig again trying to push, trying to actually hold the push. He's not even trying to push anymore now. Do this these Kaldors don't have their attack speed upgrade, which is kinda bad because they have a double the attack speed if you get that upgrade, but I mean it's still fine. Freezer is still doing well. Destroying Brutalisk after Brutalisk, Pigalisk after Pigalisk, just getting so fed. Now here come 
Danny and Sentinel with their actual miniature armies, which are not that great, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Those armies just suck. Look at these vultures, they have no stats. They barely deal like 20 damage a second and have 80 hit points. These lurkers will just will just annihilate everything. Look at that. The lurkers are freaking one-shotting the vultures here. I mean, come on, bro. You, I mean, they can't get any weaker than this, can they? Nope, they cannot. They're just gonna get destroyed. No, come on, Kerrigan. Kerrigan is actually gonna get uh, bullied by the Dark Spirit, who's now actually dealing 105 damage per shot for each turret. Now, don't block yourself. Don't block yourself. The Spirit Proxy will get out. He actually used his uh, phasing thingy that allows him to pass through buildings and units, which is pretty cool, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now Gergon will have to fight all of this all by herself. She, I mean, does she have the speed upgrade? No, she needs to get a speed upgrade and her E as well, so that she will be able to catch with the spirit, because she can get faster than this guy. Especially with the dash and fungus, she can just destroy him now. They have to be careful. Kerrigan is still losing a lot of HP. Now the spirit is even focusing her with the shots. Even though Kerrigan has a whopping 40 armor, she's still taking 65 damage from each shot. So she has to be careful. Now freestyle trying to push once again with the Kaldurs, with the Taldurins and Stone Avatars. No, no, thank you. This is GG. He probably realized Kerrigan has no chance of figuring out the game. And sadly, she will just... I guess pull Glevig down with her because yeah Kerrigan doesn't just not doesn't really know how to play the game. Can I get a heal ask spicy? Wait what who's who was spicy? He's uh, the team Nova actually, yeah look at that. He's kinda low I'm gonna be honest, but he is very strong at level seven. Now here is freestyle once again going with a great push. Glevig is even gonna try and hold again Kerrigan. Kerrigan is still not giving up even though she's extremely bad at the game. She just hasn't given up just yet. Still at level 12, 44 armor. Very impressive, I'm gonna be honest. Levin needs to... Oh, he's actually gonna get Somps. Okay, this is great. The Somps are pretty much the best and only way to deal with the... Yeah, to deal with the actual champion. He can even use his Bias on top of this guy, because this, this is freestyle himself in a stone avatar. Even though he's a lot better in maybe something like, I, I don't know, maybe a Kaldur, because this thing is nowhere near as tanky or as fast, but that's fine. He's gonna get out and just run away. And he's gonna do, like, an extra bit of damage to Kerrigan, I guess, an extra 3000. Now Nova will get destroyed by Glevik here, I said, I called that before, it's not good going going like that on creep now Tosh is here as well Glevig will actually go right next to Tosh and I believe Tosh will get absolutely destroyed nope Tosh leaves actually Tosh leaves it with with only 30 HP that was a risky that's why I always say don't go on creep if you're against a Glevig I mean Glevig might try and kill him you could try that you could just snipe him with your scorching breath or I guess incendiary acid how it's called could try that. Now look at no thank you. He, he just says kill us right now. Oh, this is so sad. Kerrigan is not even trying anymore. Freestyle is coming. Okay, I guess he's gonna go and just end their misery right here. Does he have the upgrades by the way? Is he maxed out in terms of upgrades? Yeah, he is. Even the Kaldors have their bonus attack speed. And I, I mean those Brutalisks have no chance because even Warfare has now gotten fed. Even the Santos is level 2. Now Kerrigan is going to try and chase down Tosh, but nope. Tosh is way too fast, the whopping 4.6 move speed. He's doing extremely well now, look at Glevig. I mean, he doesn't even have like enough resources for spawning any more songs, and I believe this has to be the end. Yeah, good game well played. Freestylo finishes off the Zerg. Sadly, Kerrigan will just make Glevig lose together with her.